Atlanta's number one hip hop station, Hot 1079. It's Maisha Simone. And to the right of me, I have a beautiful, amazing woman. I mean, she goes by Alexis Sky. You know who she is. She doesn't need any introduction, but she was like an influencer before influencers. <laughs> she was an IG model before that was even a term. <laughs> and now you're sitting on with like five million plus followers. Like, how has life been? Amazing and blessed. Amazing and blessed. How now. Are you? I'm doing good. Wow, that's the first person that ever asked me how I'm doing in an interview. <laughs> <laughs> um, so when it comes to, like, just growing your following and being that person to, like, gain that notoriety on social media, how are you able to do that? Because it's it's not easy, you know? Like, you have people who are still sitting on 10,000 followers for the last five years, but you've been able to grow it. Um, I think it's just about being consistent and persistent and not really giving up. Just keep going. And I know uh, you're doing something where you're actually giving back and giving the game, and we're going to get into that a little bit later because mm -hmm. that's a big deal for you when it comes to your brand as well. So how has it been, you know, uh, you did this, You the last time we kind of checked in, you were taking a spiritual walk. You know, you were really, really big into your spirituality. Um, how has that been going? <laughs> that's crazy. I was just going to that this morning. Um, so I had to, like, address it, uh, you know, because it's been, a, like, a year now. i kind of just been quiet about it. Um, okay. I think when I did start my spiritual journey, I was going through, like, an identity crisis or, like, I really didn't know what was going on and the person I was dealing with, just the people I had around me, kind of was in my ear. I'm not ashamed that I found God because I love God. Mm -hmm. um, I think that I had um, people around me just telling me that I had to be a certain way, and I was a little confused on what direction to take. Okay. And I think just being vulnerable, I kind of just was like, okay, let me just change. And I really wasn't ready, ready. to make to those decisions because at the end of the day, this is how I started my life. This is how, you know, I put food on my table for my kid. So to just make a drastic change and expect things to just, I know God, you got to trust God's timing, but I'm a single mother. So at the end of the day, I still got to make ends meet. Um, I'm not saying I, was, I chose money over God, but I wasn't fully ready to do certain things. And God knows my heart. So. And um, you mean in regards to letting go certain things that come with go. your I lifestyle? I did let go of a lot of stuff. Okay. I will say even to this day, but. Like just, what's, what's one thing that you. personal. I really don't. You know, want to get, get into yeah, it? Yeah, okay. it's just more personal things okay. on a personal side. Um, publicly, you know, I did tell people, like, oh, I'm going to stop dressing a certain way. But that wasn't who I was. Like, at okay. the end of the day, I'm Alexis. People knew me for being Alexis Guy. Yes. Everybody knows the butterfly. You know yes. what I mean? So it's like, <laughs> I'm not trying to just be like, oh, I'm back and I'm going to show my body. No, but this is how I started. And I know that there's going to be bigger doors for me mm -hmm. um, in the future. So I know certain things will change in the time it's supposed to happen, and so that's why I'm just going to live in my skin and be who I am. I still love God, but my walk is just more private, and I think I just learned to just be more private about certain things because not everything deserves, is, deserves to go. on the Internet because mm -hmm. people will throw it back in your face, and I don't blame them, but at the same time, they got to understand, like, I'm human. Yeah. So are you. My walk is different than yours. And the same people judging me is the same people that have skeletons in their closet. Yeah, that's true. So no, it's like, I don't no really, one's perfect. Yeah, I'm at a point where it's like, I don't even care. So if you don't like yeah. it, unfollow me. I still but got, you're still with God, of course. Of course. Yeah, of I'm, course. Yeah. It's just, acting like I'm here like, oh, I don't <laughs> believe in God. And no, yeah, like, of course we I wake do. up, I pray, I go to sleep, I pray. I, I'm alive. I'm thankful. Mm -hmm. My daughter, I have blessings. There's some of these things that are happening for mm -hmm. me wouldn't be for God. It, it might not be tasteful for some people because of the life that they live in the Christianity world, but I'm me. Yeah. You know, and they don't they don't they don't do it to other people. But you know That's true. And then we know of course, you know, social media is tough on you. And then but you have I think you have a great so you have like half and half. It's kinda split, you know. Half is like we love Alexis Sky, we we whatever she's doing, we stand for it. The other half they, they follow you <laughs> but they still have something to say. It's kinda like unfollow if you're not happy with what you see it's but. always been that way for me before my spiritual walk i've always yeah. had haters even from before <laughs> instagram i just yeah. feel like without your haters and you ain't you know you ain't popping you ain't popping so i really don't care like you're watching me and if you wake up and you're thinking about me i'm doing something right you're doing so something matter, right so just keep hating now the industry as a whole do you feel like it's getting tougher because i mean you're able to how do you feel about the new wave of influencers because i, I think like when you you're able to look at generations like you were kind of you're still young you're I'm still 30 beautiful. I feel like I yeah but you see like all these different influencers and other different types of models and people come in like how do you feel about the new wave um 
I'm a, like, I'm a girl's girl. I'm not a hater, so I'm happy to see other women doing what I did already. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I feel like I didn't pave the way, but I'm an original it girl. Like, I know. You definitely are an original so it girl. I'm in, like, so I don't, <laughs> I feel like I have my time and I'm still me. So mm -hmm. I feel like I built a household name. So my name is going to forever ring bells. I could step in any room. People knew, know who I am. I could be in a different country. That's when I knew, like, I'm all the way in Africa or I could be in Mexico. And people mm -hmm. are like, oh, my God, it's Alexis Sky. So that's when you know it's like, okay, it, everybody has their time. It's what you do with it. I, my name is still ringing bells. It never died out. You now, know? can you wake up in the morning and say, hey, I want to be like this person or I want to be an influencer or do you, does it have to be in you? You know, like, because you know how some people are like, hey, I want to be an it girl. I want to create this image. It has to be image. in you. I okay. mean, a lot of girls want it, but are you really built for it? Do you have what yeah. it? Because, I mean, I have my days where I be like, I let the internet get to me, but I had to really, like, build that, like, shield and really mm -hmm. block it out because it really can overtake your mind, like, mm -hmm. you know? Absolutely. And people looking up to all, you know what the, you know, all the materialistic stuff, mm -hmm. and it's like it's not what it seems. Like, yeah. people don't know what happens behind closed the doors. Scenes, yeah. And, yeah. Wow. Now, how is mommy life? Because I know what Lele is what six now. Yeah. Yeah, she's six. So how has that been? Because I know at one point it was a little difficult co-parenting, but you've always been that stand-up single mom. You've always stood by your daughter. You've always shown us how much you love her. So how yeah. has it been? You know, um, it's still difficult co-parenting. Um, you know, I'm not gonna give nobody any. Any, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, I'm her mom and her dad. Let's just put it that way. Mm -hmm. um, and you can't force nobody to do anything they don't want to do. And I'm gonna do what I need to do for my kid. Now is um, it? And I just feel like as a mom, you gotta learn patience. And mm -hmm. as a mother's love, it's your child. So you're gonna do whatever you have to do to make sure your kid is good. And um, like I said yesterday, like my daughter is teaching me patience because that's something I lack. <laughs> Because <laughs> trust me, she that one right there, she's feisty. And I know yeah. God gave me her because, whew, I don't know if it's my karma from my mom or what I put her through. You gave your mom a hard time? What? Did I? Okay. I'm the only girl, but I gave yeah. her hell. Yeah. Sure. And then, of course, she has, you know, you've opened up about her condition. You know, yeah. what advice could you give to other moms who are dealing with children who are living with? Is it hydrocephalus? Am I saying it right? Yeah, it's hydrocephalus mm -hmm. um, and cerebral palsy. Um, to be honest, I don't really let the condition stuff get to me because the doctors told me that she wasn't going to do this, this, and that. And my daughter has, has beat all the odds. So I don't look at it. Yeah. It is no condition. I feel like she just delayed in certain areas. So I try to block out all that stuff. I love stuff. that. Yeah, my baby is fine. I love I, that. She don't got anything. She's normal. <laughs> and I feel like you got to treat them just like that's. I think that's what it is. I treat her as if she didn't have Nothing's anything. wrong. Yeah. Right. So if you baby them to think that, oh, you can't do this and you can't do that, then you're going to handicap them to not be able to do anything. And what would you tell the moms who are actually having a heart? Because you've accepted it. And you're like, no, I look at it like you're normal. It's just, you know, delayed in certain areas. What advice do you have to the moms who are having a hard time with it? Like, oh, my God, you know, like, I just don't know how to deal with this. You know, um, like, like I said, I like I talked to Lele as if she didn't, you know, she ha she had a weakness in her leg. I still like you can do it. Mm -hmm. You can put your clothes on. You can bathe yourself. She literally is independent. She can do everything. There's little things I still need to help her with, but I'm still pushing her to know that if mommy's not right here, you're able to do it with or without me. Now, let's get into the business because you have a lot of great things going on, which I love. You're rebranding. You continue to revamp yourself over and over. So you have Rich Girl Society. That's uh, helping the girls grow their social media accounts. Mm -hmm. uh, what made you decide to, like, give back and give the game? Because a lot of women will just hold on to it and be like, no, I worked hard to get here, so you have to do the same. Um, I'm Like I said, I'm a girl's girl. I feel like there's room for everybody to win. Like, why not? Like, if I can give somebody else my crown and share it, like, my door, you know, my blessings are going to keep coming to me. Um, but yeah, Rich Girl Society is more so me helping in like a travel group. Okay. So I'm gonna do that probably in 2025. Start like doing travel groups and helping them like monetize their socials. Um, I have my marketing firm. Um, we do credit, um, taxes, and we're rich wealth with, firm. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's marketing financial firm. Okay. Um, right here on 14th Street. So. We, oh wow! Right here in Atlanta. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so it's a co-working space, so you can come in. You can have a cup of coffee. You know, chill. Um, you can rent it out for events, or if you need any financial services as far as marketing, credit, and taxes, we do that as well. We have a team of a team of people. people. Do, yeah, yeah, but I don't, I, you don't do it. I'm no, like, no, no, I can't no, no. get Alexis Sky to help me fix my taxes. I'm not fix my credit. Yeah, I'm not doing it. Okay, but I have a group of women that we put in position to pretty much do that while using our platform. So everybody's making money. 
Yeah, and so when it comes to this dating show, let's go ahead and get into this because I think a lot of people are really excited about this because, you know, you've always been known to keep somebody in the cut. You always got somebody in the corner. But this time, <laughs> this time you're actually looking for love. You're giving, I guess, how many people at a time a chance to figure I it out? I think it's going to be like 20 people in the house, maybe. 20 people in the house. I'm not really sure how we're going to do it, but maybe 10, 10 girls, 10 guys. Okay, 10 girls, 10 guys. Now, why did you decide to do both, you know, both genders, men um, and women? I've I always liked both. Both. You I never both. opened up about it. Really? Yeah. So this is the first time they get, actually get to see? Yeah. I mean, I don't know what, you know, if they tune in, they'll get to see. But <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Um, yeah, this, I'm just at a point where I'm just going to be me. And I just, Regardless. Yeah, I'm not ashamed of it. I, yeah. I'm and um, auditions are what? October this, 19th. October 19th. Which is this Saturday. Okay. Um, they can register at fallingforsky.com. Um, and we also do have... Um, now, this is in partnership with... Now, now that's, that's TV. Correct. Okay. Yes. And so, uh, when it comes to a man, what are you looking for? Um. <laughs> <laughs> what are some of the qualities they absolutely have to have? Um, and you you don't have to say the obvious, or you can, you know, but I I think that they this is like a little hit for those who are tuned in. Yeah, I just want somebody that, you know, has some money, that has some things going on, like ambition, um... I wouldn't really say look like looks like you know what I mean. Yeah, I'm not really a a looks person. Yeah, but you gotta be able to roll over to a minute. Yeah. 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 <laughs> not really. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Who knows if it's gonna be a man or a guy? Who Money knows? can make you look good. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then like just have stuff going on and personality is big for me. I think personality and just making sure you fulfill my love languages. Now, since you're opening up for the first time about liking women, what are you looking for in a woman? Because I, I mean, do they have to be more like beautiful? Okay, inside and out. Um. Obviously, like, I feel like I want somebody that's a go-getter like me. I don't want no broke woman that's, like, sitting on her ass. But, like, mm -hmm. obviously somebody that has the same hustle as me. And I know we can go get it together. Um, somebody like to have fun. I don't like no boring girl. <laughs> now, what are some of the qualities that Alexis Sky has? Because I think that, like I said, you always, you're known to lock them down. They may not put a ring on your finger or they may, you know, like get to that point or you may have that conversation where you're like, uh, I don't know about it. But either way, we know that you... I mean, you, I've been asked. I've just never just went never forward. Yeah. It. yeah, so what um, are your wifey qualities? Me, I'm a lover. <laughs> like, you're going to fall in love. I'm a cancer. I know how to love. I, I'm the complete package. Like, I'm very confident in myself. I feel like I'm literally the perfect wife. You know, I'm not the perfect person. I don't think they have flaws, which we all do. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to love you to your dirty drawers. <laughs> um, I'm not going to judge you. I'm going to have fun with you. We could do whatever. I'm literally like Bonnie and Clyde, like your partner in crime. I cook, I clean, I do other things. <laughs> yeah, you know, cancers, y'all have this thing where... That water, we had that water <laughs> that, <laughs> yeah. flow. What yeah, y'all definitely have a water flow. And sometimes I feel like y'all can almost... Think the partner has does the partner have to one hundred percent put everything into you and are you able to reciprocate those things or is it kind of like no, it's it, got to be about me and no, no. I like okay. to reciprocate but the thing is like I think right now it's just more so like with cancers we pour 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 and then it's like our cup is left empty that's Aww. the problem like we pour so, so fast much. And, yeah. and then it's like okay they'll drop a little bit drop a little bit but and that's how we get hurt and that's why mm. they call us crybabies so yeah but I definitely give back the love like I don't think anybody's ever broken down a cancer like that before oh no we <laughs> we gonna love you and we gonna keep giving you chance after chance and then we'll just stop you know what I mean yeah. but we're loyal that's I think our biggest trait and we don't lie we're like real we don't we don't feel like the need to lie what's the point of lying either we're, we're, we're with you or not now, what's the end goal in this? After this person wins, do you plan to get married? Do you plan to take it further? Or is it just kind of like... If they if they, they can make it. If they can make yeah, it. they can last. <laughs> <laughs> that has been a problem. They don't last. I, I do the leaving, so... Okay, well, is there anything else we need to know about what Alexis Sky is up to? I know you have so much going on. No, that's it. Um, Saturday is the audition. So, like I said, if you want to sign up, um, go to fallingforsky.com or you can text I love. Alexis to 1-844-903-0971. Even if you're not in Atlanta, you can send in a tape and you can audition uh, virtually. Um, but catch that flight. Well, thank you so much, Alexis, for thank tuning you. in with us. It's Maya Jo Simone, Alexis Sky. It's Hot 107.9.